Hey there, welcome to my channel. I'm Daniel Norton here in New York City, here with Cadence. And today we're gonna to talk about short lighting. This is one of my favorite lighting patterns. I've been talking about lighting patterns here because I did a video a while back and people wanted some more detail about what each one was. That video just kind of says, this is what they are. This one's why you might use it. So short lighting is basically dramatic lighting. This is the lighting we wanna use. We wanna bring some drama into the scene. There's lots of other reasons. People talk about it narrows the face, it widens the face, well, it does the, well, actually, you can't do both, can it? It narrows, I guess. But that's not why I use it. I use it for drama, and I'll show you how to do it. Real simple. Basically, short lighting is when you're lighting the side of the face that is opposite the camera. So the person's not looking directly at you. If they're looking directly at you, you can't be short lighting them. So they're, she's gonna look off, I guess, this way slightly. I'm going to take my light, and I'm literally gonna put it back here. It's more or less as simple as this. Here, a modeling light can be useful because we want to make it look as cool as possible. I'm going to turn off the overhead so you guys can see better. I'm not sure how clear that'll be in the video, but so you're going to look like here. And what we want to do is move it around generally so you get some light on the front of the face. What can help with the small soft box is to turn it sideways. And we want to make sure, depending on the height of the person, because we want to make sure we get a little bit of light to the front. If you don't light any of the front, you're kind of doing split lighting, although I guess technically it's still short lighting if it's from the back. <laughs> so she's gonna be like here, a little bit more, right there, okay. Let me TTL, we'll see what we get. Okay, not bad. Okay, this is basically short lighting. It's actually kind of almost a Rembrandt light as well. Um, but we don't talk about that here. <laughs> but more or less, we got the short lighting like this. Turn the lights back on, now we can see it. And so yeah, we're gonna be kind of off to the side. Let's do this, boom. Now, a lot of times people will ask me about which eye to focus on. I almost always focus on the eye that's closest to me as long as it's not completely in the shadow. If the eye closest to you is, has no light on it whatsoever, it's okay to focus on the back eye, I think. Also, if you're not shooting super wide open. If you're super wide open, that's a whole other thing. And just like anything else, we can still fill in if we want. If this is cool, a cool lighting pattern, but we think it's too dark, we can just come in with a reflector and boom. Fill it in. Again, that might be too much, but this is basically where you're at. Generally, I don't like to fill in when I do short lighting. I like the drama. So let's shoot one like this to get a final one that's nice. Okay, she's looking off. Boom, maybe a little further. And you can play with it, you know, as, as how far they're gonna look. The further they look towards the back, the more light will get on the, basically the dark side of their face. The more they look towards the front, the less light, right? So it kind of depends on how you wanna play it. I find short lighting to be super useful for any kind of dramatic stuff. I would almost always add some kind of a hair light on the opposite side just to separate them, especially in this situation, but this is my go-to dramatic light. Let me know what your go-to dramatic light is. Also, check the description below. You'll find a link to Cadence's information, a link to my information. You can subscribe to the channel. You can ring the bell so you get notifications, and I'll talk to you soon.